Hey guys, welcome to another week interview. It's me, Andy, your host, along with your other hosts, Josh and Bianca. Hey, hey guys, uh, this is a week interview. You know what it is? We review things that came into the warehouse this week, and boy, we got to watch something about this week. Oh my, oh my goodness, oh yes, sir. Bob. <laughs> well, we also give away prizes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And uh, a couple of those prizes we're going to give away today. Are... Before we started the show, and he said something about a monkey that had a job, and then he said, and then he said. What did you say? What did I say? He said, he said, you come in and try every week like the monkey, but we don't call what you're doing with work. <laughs> it was pretty good. Josh's feelings are hurt. It was uh, good. But we're not going to dwell on that because we've got so much exciting stuff to talk about, Josh. Uh, you can stand there and mope. You never one of those episodes again, that's fine. Um, but um, <laughs> we're giving away a 10 inch Charizard pop this week. And on top of that, Bianca, we're giving away something else. What was it? <laughs> the t shirt box. The, the, that. This. Yeah. This is what we're giving away. This is the new Peter Pan backpack by Loungefly. It's got movable hands. It's glow in the dark. It's spectacular. It's spectacular. <laughs> and we're also going to go with this Captain America Patriotic Age uh, pop and tea box set. Uh, t shirt comes with the pop and uh, it's patriotic. Uh, so uh, if you want to go over any win a prize, you need to do is just leave a comment on the feed you're watching. Specifically a question. Not necessarily a question, but the more interesting the comment you make, the better. Because Luke is watching the feed. He's, uh, he's watching it. He's watching us. <laughs> Uh, watch true. you. Uh, he is. Uh, he's watching the feed. And he's looking for uh, for names. For people who are commenting. He's going to put those names on our prize wheel. And at the end of the episode, folks, we're going to spin that wheel. Three lucky people are going to win some prizes today. That's exciting. Um, but before we get to that, we've got a heap to show you. So we may as well kick it off, Josh, with something that you are very particular about. Uh, you you really want to talk about this week. <laughs> I knew this was, <laughs> I knew this was really strange. Because um, you haven't even looked at the table. I, I did. Yep. Um, what do I really want to talk about this week? <laughs> I'd really like to talk about Loungefly, but Bianca's better at talking about Loungefly. So why don't, why don't you and Bianca talk about Loungefly? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, Bianca, you take, you take the lead. Josh, you oh, right. <laughs> <Lord. Yeah. laughs> Okay, so lots of Loungefly. Very exciting. So we've gotten um, another new shipment, which is super, super exciting. But let's start over here with the exclusives that we've got to show you today. No, I just want to point out, we put lounge line on the floor. It's not because we devalue the product, but we I could just bend down every weekend. Uh, what we, we just, they, they, they take up a lot of space. And yeah, really, they do. When we were sitting at the table, Andy got really angry because he couldn't reach over, so he just kicked it all out of the way. <laughs> I would never do that to such a lovely product, but sorry, Bianca, please continue. Okay, so first off, let's start off with this eel backpack because it's amazing and um, it's plush to the touch, which is amazing. Um, so it, it's eel, obviously, and also he's got a tail attached on the back, which is so adorable. And we've got a quote on the back also. So this is a retailer exclusive, so that's what I mean by exclusive. So basically not um, every retailer got these. So um, if you want one of these, it's definitely good to jump on it as quickly as you can. Um, now, as for more exclusives, we have um, these really cute um, die cut Alice in Wonderland items, which I think are really cool. So they've got like applique flowers and like um, silhouettes of the characters all over. So when you open the clasp with the bag, it's even more just like hanging out there and having a good time and all that kind of thing. Um, so that's an exclusive set as well, so definitely jump on that if you're keen on Alice in Wonderland. And the last of the exclusives that we've got to show you this week is this really cool um, Disney Villains Purple Flame set. So obviously there's purple flames all around it. Um, we've got Applique just kind of bringing it forward and then just some of your favourite like Disney What is Applique? Applique, how to describe it? It oh. just basically <laughs> means... <laughs> It just basically... Somebody stitched a picture on it. <laughs> yeah. It just basically means sewing but bringing it forward, like bringing it onto another layer. Ah, To okay. make it kind of pop, if that makes any kind of so sense like, whatsoever. This is applique. Yeah, this is a applique. layer on that. That's right. And this one as well, We're so it kind things. of just like comes forward. Applique <laughs> yeah, like onions, man. Yeah, it's all about the layers. <laughs> I actually sure knew what is. applique was. I didn't learn anything then. <laughs> Right, so we've got that one, and also it's really sparkly, so just like, I think it's so cool. Anyway, um, let's move on to the... Sparkly, like, 
Can we just talk about some Iron Fly, please? No, oh, sorry, Josh. <laughs> Okay, so we've been waiting a while for this 101 Dalmatian collection to come in and it's finally come in. I'm so stoked on it. So here's the whole collection. We've got a wallet here with an all-over print of all the puppies on it. We've got ears, which are so adorable on. Lounge fly don't often do other shapes other than like Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears. So this is pretty exciting. Um, and then we've got this backpack that is clearly meant to be patch, <laughs> but it's just kind of marketed as just a 101 Dalmatian puppy. Um, and then we've got some more of them printed on the back there. Such a good movie as well. Oh, it's such a good movie. I love it so much. And then we've got this crossbody bag as well. So that comes with carry handles and inside is a strap as well if you want to convert it to that. And then there's spots on the back. It is super, super cute. So I'm really, really excited that this one has finally come in. Now these, um, they, those are selling crazy fast, so you want to yeah. get 101 reasons to get them just one, and that is, if you don't get them now, you're probably not going to grab them, so yeah. jump on the website <laughs> and buy them quick, because uh, we can't guarantee they're going to last the weekend. Mm, that's it, they're and just, um, they're really, really popular, and I mean, right, what can so, we say? Yeah. Like, look at them! <laughs> I don't have words, they're adorable. Like Dalmatians, yeah. yeah. They're like, um, I haven't even really seen the movie, and I think it's good because of the dogs. You literally just said it's such a good movie. <laughs> Why do you lie, Josh? <laughs> Why are you such a pathological liar? <laughs> hey, Josh, what do you think about Sleeping Beauty? Um, it's good for people that... <clears throat> a bit rapey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a little wrong. A <laughs> little yeah. bit, a little um, bit. Like the castle, good architecture. Um, <laughs> Dragon in there it, is and, a dragon it, in. and if you don't want to be dragging your things around, you better get one of these. Bags. Oh. I mean, this is this is the dragon that's in it, by the way. Mephalison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is the um, Sleeping Beauty Castle collection. Um, no rapey vibes in this one. Just storybook, <laughs> lovely romance. So basically, all the accessories feature the castle, and then the storybook ending. Um, you paint a pretty picture all you want, she was unable to give consent, so... <laughs> yeah... <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't meet before in the forest and quickly also, and, like, immediately fell in love. I've actually read a theory about this. Um, I probably read a little note, so I so don't watch Mojo, but yeah. Um, <laughs> that she's actually dead. Um, she never wakes up, and that's why it's a happy ending, because it's not a real ending, she died. <laughs> so, that's why they're amongst clouds, because it's a dream? Yes, or in heaven. Fair. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so this is this is heaven, apparently. <laughs> and then the other side, we've got the um, castle scene as well. And the backpack is much the same. So we've got the applique bringing it forward. And then we've got the lovely, I might be dead scene. <laughs> on the back. Most definitely is dead. <laughs> Okay, and also on the subject of Sleeping Beauty, we also have this pin collector storybook style um, backpack, which is really, really cool. Um, so basically, if you've got a whole bunch of pins, you can display them all through here. So you can open this up and pop them inside. And if you don't have a pin collection, it's all good because it comes with your very own Sleeping Beauty pin to so start with. So you go on now! Yeah, so you can get it started straight away and then you can just add more to it and yeah, it'll be super good. Just pin of her being dead. <laughs> Not sleeping. Yeah. No, Pretty it's she's sleeping. And look at how pale she is. <laughs> is that she, like, so look, she might be just a bit corpse, just, <laughs> you know. So do the pin, are the pins behind? Oh yeah, they are too. So it's like they're protected by this so they can't just fall off and like exactly. on the street. Exactly. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's, that's a it. Really good bit of design. Yeah, so again you just open it up to actually put the pins in there and then you can just close it up. So right. you probably don't want to put any pins there, they might not see them. Mm. Lounge float. Man they kill it. They think Could they do they a really different do. one like that? Like of a book? No, they did like they kill it just like the fairies kill it sleeping beauty. The, the fairies? fairies. No, the fairies didn't kill her. I think it was like a drug thing. Yeah, it was definitely drugs. Poison. But, did you know also, Overdose. we have Peter Pan lounge by things, and that Peter Pan is also meant to be dead, and that's why he never grows old. 
And he doesn't. And, and you know how Captain Hook, he hates the... Yeah, you actually didn't watch Hook. Steven Spielberg's 91 film. Yeah, but he, you know the plot's <laughs> ticking? It's, it, that's, him, that's him. The crocodile is death, and that's him running away from his inevitable demise. And that's why Peter Pan's not scared of the crocodile. Because he's like, already oh, dead. Already dead, and so are all the Lost Boys. Inevitable's a big word for you, Josh. It really was. <laughs> it's really thrown me out. I did inevitable demise. Was that on your word of the day, Kellen? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about like Peter Pan and what's actually going on with his accessories. He's taking them to heaven. Oh That's God. why he's flying. <laughs> Come jump out of this window, Wendy. Like, you'll fly. It's fine. Just a little bit of pixie dust. Yep. Anyway. Ecstasy. Like... dust and jumped out of the window. Drugs or death. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to talk about this. So, I'm pretty excited about this collection because I love um, Peter Pan and everything. So, what's really cool about all these accessories is that all the clock faces actually glow in the dark. Mm. Which is really, really cool. So, um, we've got the kids and Peter Pan just flying over above um, Big Ben and then just clouds on the back here. Um, same deal with the crossbody. Um, so, you've got more clouds underneath there as well. And, of course, that comes with a convertible strap. And on the back, this is really cute. So think happy thoughts, so you can fly to heaven, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Nana looking a bit worried. So maybe that's yeah. why she's worried because she Poor knows dog. that's where they're yeah. headed. The dog Second star of the right, straight on through morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then forevermore. Is your dead. Wow, that's <laughs> so dark. <laughs> okay, and then we have the backpack, which is probably my favorite one. Um, just because um, the clock face is obviously the front pocket here. Um, we've got Nana as the enamel zipper charm as well, and the clock hands actually move also. Now, I, would, I, like, I know it would have been far more expensive had it actually been a working clock, <laughs> but I feel like it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, that would have been really, really cool, but I mean, you can display any time you want, any time of the day, so like, there's that. That's pretty cool. Um, and on the back as well, we have Tinkerbell featured. Um, with just a little pixie dust as the quote there. Um, so yeah, again, these all glow in the dark. And um, if you're just joining us, we are actually giving away one of these backpacks today. So drop a comment or an interesting question on the feed. Get Luke's attention. So you might get on the wheel and have a chance to win one of these. We are also giving away the Charizard 10 inch pop and uh, Captain America uh, Post Age uh, pop vinyl. So, Couple awesome prizes to be giving away. Just leave a comment on the feed to be on the right. So exciting. Okay, the last of Blanche Five we've got for you guys today is another one we've been waiting on for quite a while. So I'm very excited that this one's also landed. So this is the um, Chippendale. Basically, it's like a sweet treat. Oh, it's such good characters as well, Chippendale. Is oh, it man. Rescue Rangers or is it generic old Chippendale? It's generic, <laughs> but I like generic old Chippendale. Mm, I was I really well, into man. them. <laughs> Like, I absolutely love them. So we have Chip and Dale. They're all excited. You know, they're trying to steal a whole bunch of snacks. So this is a very exciting, festive-looking backpack. It's just an all-over print here. And then we have a um, really cool crossbody. So it's like a big donut that they're running away with. But not only is it chocolate, but it's also strawberry Ooh. when you open it up, which is really, really cool. And then there's a wallet as well. There's a wallet of them trying to get the cherry from the top of the ice cream. And then on the inside, there's also some kind of, it's got chip on one side and it's, it's got Dale on the other side. And, the and other check side. out the other side. And on the other there side. And that's, that's the opposite of, um, what did we say before about the outward? It's inward. It's indented. But Chip and Dale, good characters, simple motivations. Um, I mean, I relate to them. I like food. Yeah. Then that's kind of that's their whole that's their whole being, right? It's just trying to find some delicious food, and hey, that's not a bad life. It is a good life, <laughs> and that's all I got from lunch by to show you this week. That is a Yay. decent amount. Uh, thank keep, you. Keep it on that thing. Yeah. Let's let's talk about some um, factory beach towels. Uh, it, it's it's been very warm the last couple of weeks, and I'm sure everyone wants to get, uh, get off the beach, and you might want to do it in some in some rad uh, pop culture styling. We've got so we've got the Beatles, the yellow submarine, kind of. See a little bit of that there. Um, creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, so both of these are very fitting uh, water, like aquatic type yeah. of beach tower themes. That's great. So if you like old music or old movies that aren't good but you pretend you like them. Boom! Boom! Oh, 
We've got uh, Chucky and, and his good guys uh, box there, and we also have Jaws, which is very beach related. Yeah, beach related items. Beach related items. Um, we also have a plush set of the Beatles from uh, the Yellow Submarine. So if you like um, the Beatles, the Beatles and plushes, <laughs> this is this is for you. It's got a, some artwork on the back as well. It's very reminiscent of the 60s. They Beatles. all live in a Yellow Submarine box set. Um, so they do, very colourful, very colourful. Uh, from Mattel, we've got a couple Jurassic World figures uh, from Camp Cretaceous, the Netflix series. We've got the Velociraptor Charlie, and his mouth, maybe his neck, I don't know. He moves. Articulation! <laughs> That's pretty great. But what I'm excited about is the Mosasaurus. Um, because it's squishy on here. No, it's not even that it's squishy, it's that uh, they have salvaged uh, one pound of plastic that was within 50 kilometers of uh, I the ocean. Have, I knew you would have some of To create, to create this action figure. So they're actually uh, recycling um, uh, material that would have ended up uh, in the ocean, polluting the world. Instead, uh, they now have a nice oceanic uh, dinosaur. That's cool. Like that. That's, that's really, really cool. cool. I think that's great. And I'd like to see a lot more toys being made. Never no, just enjoy yeah. something, but all this. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Josh. Anyway, that's pretty cool, but not as cool, folks, as our resident record collector, Handsome Will, and uh, he's brought in there. I have a lot more uh, goodies to show you this week. Yeah, I've got a couple of box sets, so it's a reasonably sized pile, and um, as every week, I'm going to be taking you guys through a handful of records that have gone up on the website recently that I really enjoy, and uh, just giving you a few words about the albums. So, um, starting us off is In Excess's Listen Like Thieves. So, we've recently pulled in a pretty large catalogue or a pretty large range of the In Excess catalogue. Um, here, right now, is one of my favourite albums of theirs, Listen Like Thieves. It's got some really awesome songs on it, a really classic Australian rock album. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of In Excess, definitely one to pick up and have in your collection. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Next up, another old school <laughs> rock one that most people probably know quite well, Die Straits, Die Straits. Um, really awesome album by the iconic band with a lot of their really great songs on it. Just showcases their really awesome songwriting and musicianship. Album I really like. Um, I think a lot of you guys will like it too. Cheers, Andy. Next up, a slightly new album, Angus and Julia Stone, Down the Way. Um, really awesome album. It's got Big Jet playing on it, a really iconic song of theirs. I think it got really high on the Triple J Hills 100 back in the day, if not number one. Um, but yeah, it's a, a bit of a classic in the newer era of Australian rock. Really iconic duo and yeah, really great album by them. Next up, we've got a restock here. Um, this is Black Sabbath's Ultimate Collection on gold vinyl. So we've recently been able to get this one back through one of our suppliers. It sold out reasonably quickly. Um, it's four LPs of Black Sabbath classic songs. So if you're into Sabbath, there's a whole four LPs of them. It's celebrating their 50th anniversary as a band. But yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty it is big a box. Time. It is a long time. A long time. And um, they've aged. <laughs> that, Next up. That didn't sound like they've aged gracefully. <laughs> Next up, a couple albums from the band New. Um, for those of you who don't know New, this is New um, 74 in this hand and 86 in this hand, I believe. Um, but they're an, a pretty iconic Krautrock band. So Krautrock is German rock. Um, it's like an experimental psychedelic sort of rock. Um, but yeah, these guys pretty much coined that term. They started out in like the 70s. Um, 74, I think, is their second album and 86 obviously came later in 86. Um, but yeah, they, they sort of really coined that term and... I like the efficiency of the German um, naming. Yeah. They just call it the year that they made the album. Yeah. It's to the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except it's really hard to remember, which is weird. Because <laughs> like, they got albums in pretty much every year throughout the 70s and 80s. And it's like, I, I don't know. Because it's not even on the cover. But, but too efficient. Yeah. It's, it's good music. It's um, If you're into experimental rock, it's something you'd probably really enjoy. They've got a really interesting sound. They did a lot of cool stuff throughout their years. And yeah, they're a pretty iconic band. Thanks, Andy. And um, last but not least, we got the Gorillaz G Collection. Now, Gorillaz are one of my favorite bands of all time. This is a restock again, so we've managed to get this one back through one of our suppliers. And this is a collection of, I think, six of their albums. Um, two, four. Six, seven of their albums. Um, so yeah, it's seven of their albums on separate LPs. It's got all the iconic albums, everything up to Song Machine Season 1. Um, but yeah, it, it's the Gorillas and it's a lot of the Gorillas. Definitely one of the Gorillas in my box. It is. And uh, I, I, I wonder if those Gorillas, Josh, 
have any mechanic, uh, mechanic experience. Um, it wasn't a gorilla, it was a friend. monkey, but we'll leave that. Um, well, I thought, I thought we agreed you were going to wear sleeves. <laughs> You've never spoken to me about this. <laughs> you said in the show, but... <laughs> I get warm. I can't look away. <laughs> Maybe you should lift more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I actually, I I look like that. I just wear, oh, long, I just oh, wear long sleeves. Yeah, you know, know. You're, you're, you're so consider, modest. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you anyway, well, All thanks right, for uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you next week for another exciting uh, bunch of records. You won't oh, next week. Fight the week what? after I'll be back. Oh. Oh, my cousin's mm. wedding next week. So oh, I'll be out. Well, they're, they're, they're more lucky than us. Um, <laughs> Um, we've got a lot of people drawing comparisons to you, your outfit and Charizard today. Um, oh, I don't know why everyone comments on my outfit. Oh, no, they, they like to make comments about what you wear. He's just a fashionable guy. Yeah, shiny yeah, cat, not. where's Wally, now Charizard, it's just <laughs> the colour orange, folks. Yeah. yeah, but your stereo is also orange. I just like the color. Your hat's the color of his wings. Oh, alright, alright, alright. I'll admit, I'll admit there might be some uh, crossover there, but um... <laughs> You know, the eyes, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. And you know what, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, it's pretty much, pretty much the same colour, uh, I'm gonna admit. Um, but hey, you know what, while we're talking about music, we may as well talk about some uh, awesome new uh, releases from Knuckle Williams and Funko that are music related. Uh, we'll start off with uh, some new releases in the Funko Gold Collection. He's so excited about this. He's so excited about this. He loves Arkham. This one goes out to all the mamas, babies, baby mamas, mamas. <laughs> Mama's mama's. I think any combination of those words and you've had a lyric. anyway, so this is uh, this is uh, the first release in the new Outcast series from um, from uh, Funko and the in, in the Gold Line. Um, there are two releases. These are the twelve inches. These are from the uh, Miss Jackson music video. Um, so we've got Andre 3000 and Big Boy. Uh, I'm very excited about these. These weigh a ton. They are super heavy. They are super well built. Uh, the quality is outstanding. Uh, and you can grab them for, I don't know, $50 awesome. each. So that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Buy both of them, you get free shipping. Yes, that's true. Get both and you'll hit a $100 free shipping uh, minimum. It's pretty exciting. Anyway, but not exciting as, as, as these two figures that have come in. Uh, well, we're on, I guess we're talking about some sports stuff, Josh. Yeah, and Tentacle on both. Uh, and the there's coming back. Oh, it's, no, it's, this is the first iteration of him in the vinyl gold line. Wow. Um, I think there is a big one coming out as well. Big boy. Uh, but just adding to the kind of NBA, NBA vinyl golds and that kind of cartoon style. Sweet um, cartoon style. I thought you were going to give a little shout out. Oh, to yeah. Some of our YouTube friends. Yeah. Uh, Taco Pops. Love your work. We all love your work. Yeah, do the thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, back on the music. Uh, we've got a whole new bunch of new releases from Knuckle Bones that Bianca's going to talk through because this is more her type of, uh, of jams. Well, I mean, I was a little bit obsessed with that ghost backdrop at the back there. That looks insane. It looks like this cathedral built to Papa, or well, many Papa Emeritus throughout time. So I'm really, really in love with that. And of course it goes perfectly with the nameless ghoul there just kind of like reaching out to you, like come and join our music cult, which I've definitely joined. <laughs> anyway, um, so really cool statues there. We also have the complete um, Metallica set as well, um, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm loving all the intricate details on these like if you check out the details on the guitar and like their tattoos and stuff like that It is just insane um, Really cool pieces there and then we have um, The scorpions also and they just look amazing and elaborate as they do in real life um, It also comes with some extra pieces like this um, scorpion piece and like a tool case as well um, which is really, really cool. I just think these are just beautifully detailed. So you can grab the uh, Stage 300, you've got Nameless Ghoul for 250, you get all the Metallicas for 1000 combined, uh, you get all three Scorpions for 800, and the, uh, the Road Case, Backdrop, and Scorpion, uh, $220 uh, as a separate purchase. That's which, a good um, deal. Uh, all in all, pretty good deal. Pretty good stuff through, uh, through Knuckle Bones, all 110 gas statues. Uh, great poses, really dynamic, and um, if you're a fan of music, you should check out the stuff. Uh, a couple other statues that have come in lately. Um, I've got a new Frank Rosetta Death Dealer bust. That's uh, $260. Um, uh, I think it's probably one quarter scale. 
Um, yeah, there's one corpus skull. One, there we go. Yep. Got that, was right. on, that was on the box when I was right on the, the table. <laughs> uh, from uh, Quantum Mechanics, we've got a new Deadpool on Unicorn Q Fig. And Max, it's $100. Um, it's got a Deadpool on a unicorn. He's got his sword out. He's happy. He's having a great time. Arms up. Uh, having, having just a whole bunch of, of fun experiences um, in clouds. Um, or heaven, if we're just picking a theme this week. No, it's <laughs> not. It's got a real Kirby's Dreamland. Mm. It does. It I does. was thinking Care Bears. Yeah, yeah that too. Just anything from the early to mid 90s. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's hundred dollars. The presenter bus was two sixty, I think I said. Uh, and uh, the last statue we got to talk about today is. Uh, it looks like it's two pieces, but it's actually a set. It comes in one, can be posed separately. But um, this is from. Um, the Last of Us company that I don't even know if I can pronounce the name of. Go um, on. Mamigirai. Mamigoira. Gaira. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's what is it? Uh, one ninth. Scale? I think it is. Uh, it's five hundred and fifty dollars for the two pieces together, um, but they are really great quality. The details yeah, are this um, pretty this cool. Um, the paintwork's incredible. Um, uh, it looks just like it's coming out of the video game, which it is does. really great. It and the fact that you can take them apart, pose them in different. Um, yeah, like you can. You could put put her all the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could put him down here, and it looks like she's going to shoot him. <laughs> But they wouldn't do that because they're friends. But yeah. it just depends on how you want to, because you can you can make your own narrative. You definitely can make your own narrative. Five hundred fifty dollars would uh, will get you that set there, uh, which is a pretty great deal. <clears throat> hey Josh, uh, we've got some uh, got some new Pokemon. We do. We got the uh, Build and Battle Stadium um, Sword and Shield Fusion Strike. Um, yeah. I like the viewers on it. That makes Read the back of our shot. I think you're, 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 you're wanting to. It's got two individual build and battle boxes, each containing a 23 card evolution pack to build your decks. And then it's got all the other things that are nowhere near as interesting as the cards. Because when you open the cards, you don't know what you're going to get. Fuck them all. <laughs> normally, cool. Andy, normally Andy tells me what he wants me to talk about before the show. And he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Josh Swag is in here <laughs> at 4.35 and I was like, what are we doing? Why haven't we started? Um, $110 to get the Pokemon Stadium box from the Fusion Strike range. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we got some handheld games, which uh, I will talk about because they're pretty easy to tell what's going on. Yeah, batteries um, not included though. So. Batteries not included. Um, <laughs> There's Jurassic Park, Transformers, um, we've got a Spider-Man one as well. Just, have I, I seen the Jurassic I think, Park one? Oh, I think Bianca would like the Spider-Man one. I dig the Spider-Man one, I saw that earlier this week. Comes with some like, little games, it's got so a punch. They're, and... they're, they're like the Nintendo Game Watch yeah. style. Um, I was hoping it would be like the Super Nintendo Jurassic Park game that I was very bad at. Uh, kind of like... <laughs> Ported, uh, an emulator on that, but no, they're just kind of Game Watch style stuff. But that doesn't stop them from one. being excellent. Um, Fighting Transformers. And you can grab them for um, for uh, thirty dollars each, folks. And play them while you watch cartoons on a Saturday morning. Why not? That sounds yeah. amazing. It's a whole experience. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, a couple other things we're going from Factory Entertainment. Um, we have a Back to the Future keychain and a Back to the Future license plate uh, holder. Um, so you can uh, uh, dress your car up as if it's a DeLorean, even though yeah. it is, uh, I don't know, some kind of Nissan. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a Toyota. Back to the Future, let's put it over your license plate. Comes where we're going, we don't need roads. Um, but you will, because your car can't fly or go through time. But people might think it will and they might back off a little, won't, won't tailgate as much. Um, it's not what it says. <laughs> Where did you get what you said from? <laughs> anyway, when the movie is 88 miles per hour, you're probably going to get pulled over. Um, uh, you can grab a license plate for 25 bucks. Uh, you can grab a keychain for $20. Um, they're all pretty good. I'm very excited about this next piece from uh, an artist uh, called 100% Soft. Uh, and he has a line of 
um, of, of, of toys, uh, that are uh, dumpster fires. Uh, and, and he's spent the last couple of years of what have been dumpster fires for the last couple of years releasing dumpster fire toys. And I don't think it's quite um, fitting in the times. But uh, this Actually, is the first plus version of this. And it's got a, a, a little hinge. You, know, you can open, well, it's just a flat, but you can, uh, you can open and close it. Um, <laughs> you can put your things in there. Um, I've actually got a bunch of those. Let's, let's run through things that we might be able to put in there. Uh, keys. Um, coins. Coins. Cans of drink. Cans of drink. You these. Put, you could these games. Put one can of drink if you stretch it a little bit. Put games in there. You could. You could put um, Pokemon cards. Um, recreationals. Um, uh, you could, teeth. You could. You, you could yeah, put teeth. Baby teeth. Baby teeth. <laughs> um, uh, lollies. Lollies. Put lollies some, would be good. Put some Sour Patch Kids in there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, plenty of things to put in here, um, and uh, yeah, it's a great flush. Um, and you can grab it for um, uh, I had it $40. For, uh, I've got a bunch of the, the vinyl toy versions of this toy, I think they're pretty great. And then let's get, let's, let's get into some action figures. Let's, let's well, start with good is it action company. time. It's action time. Oh, it's kind of like the interlude between um, statue sort of collectibles and action figures is definitely, um, in my opinion. Uh, good smile company androids. So from Frozen, there is um, Elsa from the epilogue, epilogue dress version scene. Um, scene, and she kind of comes with some some smiley faces, some blinking faces, some snow. Um, yeah, a book I think of some description. Uh, Blake, you'd be about these, right? No. No. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Anna as well. She comes with some different hands though. Um, she's got some flowers and all those sorts of things. Um, uh, both of those are $90 each, Josh. Yeah. And then if uh, Disney movies aren't in style, we have... Um, Sweet anime. Katsuki Bakugo from My Hero Academia. Um, and he comes with a little bit more stuff. There's some boom signs and things like that. Um, and a mask. He just, he looks angry all the time. Um, uh, he's $120. And then from Demon Slayer is... Tanjiro Kamado, who comes with some swiping action, some swords, a happy face, a mad face, and also a flipping platform from where he flips upside down. Oh, that's, that's a cool. Demon Slayer figure uh, coming out at $100. Uh, and that's from Good Smile Company, and they'll make you smile real good. They will make you smile real good. From Mattel, uh, we have some of those, uh, another one of those retro line Masters of the Universe toys. It's a glow in the dark scare glow. It's $35. Um, it's $35. Yeah, and this is really cool. This oh, is really cool. It's gonna gonna glow really well. You can kind of see that there, how well it's gonna glow. Um, little comic book, just like the original Twilight, comes with a little uh, miniature comic book. Does some stories. Yep. Just look at the pictures if you're not interested Dark in the words. Um, who are these by? Oh, these are also Mattel. Mattel. So we have some uh, wrestling action figures Josh as well. Josh like these because he's the wrecking ones and they do wrecking moves. I do like that. This one here, the Triple H, that, that there bends so you can throw the Undertaker onto it and it will bend. You can kind of see that there. Except he's throwing Randy Orton onto it. And then this one, well, Undertaker, he's throwing Triple H onto the chair. But if I had to pick between the two, I'd probably rather be thrown onto the chair because chairs naturally bend anyway. Because you can put their hands up and they go, oh, I'm reckoning. Yeah. Also, those oh. weights that Troops comes with, they're like huge. I'd hate to be hitched with them or yeah. like thrown onto them. They are big. Josh pointed out why Triple H have no hair, and I too did not realise he is now a bald man. Not that there's anything wrong with bald you, men. When I said that, you answered straight away with conviction about him being old. <laughs> yeah, because you asked me a question. I'm going to tell you anything to make myself look better than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had hair for ages. He got old. <laughs> Started falling out or whatever. Oh, I didn't realize we were all lying to each other. Yes, if, I, if I didn't know yes, the answer. Yes, you did. If I didn't know the you answer. You lying right. about watching <laughs> Sleeping Beauty or right My Little Dream because I know it's going to be good because it's about 101 dogs. Hey, do then watch it. Do you like wrestling? What do you like watching? Uh, I used to like it when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid, but my mum made us stop watching it because me and my brother used to do it all the time and like. Like bombing each other off the couches and stuff. No, no, no. Like, yeah, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was like not, it off wasn't off roof. roof, like we just had like a high fence <laughs> that was like made out of brick and just jump off onto it. And, I'm and there was, you know, just a, a covering right above it. No. Sorry, you call a roof. No. you're pointing to your, to your nose. Yeah, so, through, through, him off, yeah, through him off the fence, 
jumped on top, my nose hit the back of his head and it broke. So <laughs> His head or your nose? My nose. Wow. So then my mum was like, right, that's well, it. No more Jeff Hardy. <laughs> You're not watching Jeff Hardy anymore. Um, no more then, Swanton Bombs for Yeah, you. no more Swanton Bombs. Um, and then that was that, and then I kind of just never got back into it. But I definitely know Triple H and The Undertaker are. Definitely does. Uh, <laughs> those are $30 each. Uh, that's a great deal. Um, we've got some new releases from Hasbro in. Uh, in addition to those awesome games, we do have some figures. Um, we have... Uh, I've got notes. Uh, G.I. Joe actual figure. This character is... Roadblock. Roadblock. <laughs> He's got a big gun. He does. Um, he he got, needs to, um, to block the road. Bumblebee. Um, it's part of the studio series. And we also have... Grindor. Grindor and Ravage. Ravage also so part of the studio series. Transforms into a car and a helicopter. Um, uh, Grindor at $100. Bumblebee is 45 Super excited about this one. Yep. This is the sort of uh, figure from... Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Um, this is tight. Marvel Legends series. It's legit. Yeah, this is really good. Really good packaging as well as part of the Infinity Saga. You can see there. He's got his whole sword. Yeah, he's got his big sword. Yeah, he's got his big sword. He's hot headed. He's fiery. Um, he's cool. He's gonna kind make, of see through. He's gonna bring about Ragnarok. Yep, and he also has his own solo movie coming up. <laughs> yep. Uh, hundred dollars. No, hundred and ten. That's the wrong price. Hundred, definitely hundred and ten. Um, from McFarlane, uh, we've got some some stuff in. Uh, this is the, the three jokers range. So the six uh, figures in this range. Uh, we have three jokers in the three jokers range. Uh, we have the criminal joker, we've got the clown joker, and we've got the comedian joker. And that's um, all from that comic. It's all from comic. that. Um, we've got Red Hood, we've got Batman, and we have Batgirl um, as well. Uh, we've got some uh, uh, larger range of DC McFarlane figures in, but I just wanted to highlight this line because uh, all three of these joker figures are legit. Yeah, really, really legit. Yeah, um, we have Netflix's The Witcher yeah. as well, not to be confused with the game The Witcher. Um, <laughs> so we got two, the book The Witcher. Yeah, two two Gerald of Rivia's. Um, <laughs> so you got one normal, yeah. one tripping out on potions, and then Yaskia. Oh, what would you take? Just you crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the main? What's the main? Jerry. Name again, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. Imagine. Gerald of River. Oh, Jezza. <laughs> um, and now, then we have the Kikimura as well. What the hell is that is thing? like the first um, creature, I believe, that he fights in the series. And it is so epic and huge and creepy. And it comes with an extra head. When if if he, you want to make it even creepier. When does he fight that? Spooky uh, situations. Like, it's pretty much the... I think it's the first episode. Don't just looking for a timestamp. Yeah. <laughs> just tell me when. I remember it happening very quickly. It's been a while since I've seen the series. Yeah, but just, it's if, very quick. If I could see the fight with him and that. Just YouTube it. Yeah, but you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, you might get a mirrored upside down version with yeah. Spanish. <laughs> or like a weird yeah. redo. Yeah. Um, just too much talking. The main thing here is uh, $60, uh, the Witcher 7-inch figures, they're 40 and the DC figures are 35 And uh, what was now look, there's one extra uh, Mega Nob, so we spoke about Ooh, last week. Yeah. But yes. I thought I might get your opinion on this, uh, this, uh, this version. This I love my knobs, uh, especially when they are Mega um, like this. It's um, a big nod. Yeah, so if you're into the grim darkness of the far future in the first, 41st millennium, Go on. this might be for you. Um, really, really cool figures. You can find knock it out of the park with all their stuff, but I'm a particular fan of this because I'm a big fan of Warhammer. Um, and I collect knocks myself. Now, the Mega Nobs um, come with some really cool accessories, stuff that you might be familiar with or not familiar with, perhaps, if you don't know the range. Um, <laughs> Oh, that was a great yeah. catch. catch. My goodness. Thank you. Um, now these guys like to cause lots of violence and wanton destruction, such as this that's just happened. Um, I'm enough. getting a bit carried away and into the spirit of things just holding it. Um, cool accessories here. You've got the iron jaw that they attach on there. Um, the boss pole and some gubbins there that go on the back. Um, you've got a cool, the iconic power claw on the side there. Um, and you can't really see it from this angle because it's a bit shot off, but the custom shooter there. Um, 
Very, very cool. Heaps of detail. I don't know if you can pick that up through through the box there, but um, got some uh, on the back there too. It's epic deeds, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fully closable, all articulated. Um, now, they, these come in uh, grey plastic, so this is the artist proof kind of series. Um, so, I mean, you can go nuts and paint this thing if you want to, um, just like the uh, miniatures as well, uh, which is really cool, and that appeals to me, and I will be picking these up for myself. Um, yeah, Meganobs, get into them. Get into them for uh, $60. Um, pretty good stuff. Look, uh, while you're there, I see yeah. we've got a pinned comment here just saying, what's Luke's favourite dog breed? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was going to get that late, earlier, but uh, I forgot about that. But uh, it's a tough one. For me, it's between German Shepherds. Ooh, they are good. They're a great dog. Great dog. Hip problems, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Whippets. Ooh. I really like Whippets because they're like cat dogs. Mm. But they're a conundrum because they're bony. They're not snuggly, but they want to be. Mm. And I find that fun. And endearing. So Whippets. Good answer. Well, this it is. Mm. Now I'm just gonna go. Yeah, Look at it. everyone we'll watching walk back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, new release from Funko. So we talked about the Arc uh, set. We did. Um, Let's talk about um, some Demon Slayer stuff. We got Enosuke Hashibara. Um, it's the one that has the <laughs> it's the one that has the peg head, and he's <laughs> laying down. Um, or she. Because I haven't seen it. Um, Tanjiro, it's a dude. Can confirm. Shirt off, Jeff. <laughs> Tanjiro versus Rui in a, um, it's called a pop moment. I think it used to be called an anime moment. Um, I mean, they didn't think they had specified anything. They originally called the line movie moment, but then they started doing yeah, yeah, like anime moments. moments. I'm, I'm sure there's an anime moments. Let us know in the comments if you know more than us. Um, but it's a fight from Demon Slayer, and then we have underneath that Belle and the Beast from. Beauty and the Beast walking down the stairs. You know what really gets me about that movie is even Have you seen it? No, I've seen like pictures though. Um, <laughs> even though he was a beast, he wasn't like ugly. You know what I mean? He's still a strong jaw. He's a good looking beast. Yeah. We can all agree. No one said he was ugly. No, but I'm saying I'm saying that like that's the whole premise is it's a beast and yeah. it's meant to be like repulsed by him, but I'm just saying, like I don't think the beast was that ugly. I love that they actually made a pop of this though. That's just like one of the best moments in that film. I love that so much. And so you've got the staircase, it just oh, brings back so many feels for me. What do they lead to? I found out in that movie there's a little cup that's alive and it's yeah, got you a You found chip. out! <laughs> what do you mean you the found out? Down. And it's got a chip in yeah, it. Yeah, chip. And it's named yeah. Chip, yeah. Wow. That's good writing. Yeah. Isn't that delightful? Yeah, it's good Mom writing. And Mrs. Potts, she's what? a pot. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Silly. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. Um, <laughs> a pop and tea uh, set that's just come in. This is the, uh, the Patriotic Age Captain America. Features Captain America um, art series. He's covered with his uh, his shield design. In a nice little collage there. Um, red, white, and blue. Patriotic stuff. Also comes with a t-shirt. Um, that design. Was on the front, didn't need to turn the box, but I did anyway. Um, <laughs> Captain America launching, uh, ready for action with, again, a similar sh uh, shield motif all over it. Uh, we also got a uh, Super Saiyan Goku 3 pop and tea box. I'm going to get it out of the box because I really care about what you guys do and Andy doesn't. So there's the tea and also we have a glow in the dark. Um, Super Saiyan Goku 3, I believe his uh, hair glows. I believe it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku's... Um, Josh does say so. Andy, packaging. you have not seen the show. You're a fake fan. Um, <laughs> on the packaging, it kind of looks like he has eyebrows, but he definitely doesn't. Doesn't have any eyebrows. Um, that's that. That's that. <coughs> that's um, that. Fifty dollars each for both of those top and tea boxes. We have a bunch of sizes um, and a bunch of other designs. We showed you a lot last week. There's a couple more that have just come in, uh, but extra small for the tri triple XL is our general size things. We may not have all of those in stock. Um, but we do have quite a lot to pick from at this point in time, so it's exciting. While we're on Funko and t-shirts, we have a couple of pop culture exclusive black light t-shirts that have just come in, Alice in Wonderland. Um, got two designs, we've got Mad Hatter, um, which is which just cool. pretty groovy, man. These are both cool. Um, I love these. And uh, we've got the Cheshire Cat. Uh, all black light reactive. Um, you can put on your black light and your records and um, 
Have we tried these out with the lock, with the torch? No. Cam oh. <laughs> Probably not gonna work very well. Let's give it a go. We're doing it, everyone. Whoa, they're going to Oh, whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My goodness, that is. That is very impact. That is sick. Whoa, hey. No, it's good, but there you go. Take it over here into the dark. Into the darkness of the far future. No. That's pretty good. That's really cool. These are $30 each with, again, a bunch of sizes. Also, Andy's shirt. Um, <laughs> you can, what else can we find? Actually, let's stop her looking. <laughs> well, there is actually the scare glove. Oh, yeah. Is that going to. Oh, yeah, a little bit. No, no, he doesn't. That, that doesn't work through this. Yeah. So that's through. Oh, my eye! My eye! <laughs> <laughs> um, $30 each for these, which is pretty great. Uh, mm -hmm. You can only get them here. Um, so add them to a cart, check out. Why not? Um, I've got a two pack uh, of good omens, good omens box. Um, especially series has just come in, so you can add that to your little pot collection. It's got eyes like um, a cat. It's Crowley. That's, that's $40. Um, we, while, we're, while we're on a multi pack shot, we may as well keep on the theme, alright? He ends up jumping in at six inches. This isn't how we scripted this. <laughs> uh, just in time for Christmas, it's the Harry Potter Yule Ball uh, <laughs> set. Um, got Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Dumb, Old Dumby, Dumby Door Door. Put some respect Pretty adorable. On uh, 40, uh, four, I don't know, it's four of them. 80 bucks. Let's, let's, yeah, we're doing 80. Go on for 80, folks. <laughs> For uh, 120, um, Avengers Infinity Saga, we have the Artist Series of Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk, and Iron Man, all in different colours to symbolise their emotions. Um, purple for uh, content, blue for patriotic, red for angry, orange for... Um, slightly less angry. <laughs> slightly less angry, green for jolly, and yellow for... Green is angry, you know that, right? Green for jolly and yellow for indifferent. Um, <laughs> Robert Downey uh, Jr. is indifferent, man. <laughs> it's uh, the Infinity War six pack or Infinity Saga six pack. They're all, from they're all Infinity Stones. Uh, and it's all their sculpts from Endgame. It's actually 120. 120? Yep. What did I say? 80. The young one's 80. Oh. Harry Potter. Yeah. Is oh. 80. Sorry. Uh, and then we have from Yu-Gi-Oh! Stardust Dragon. Um, so if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! or you like dragons, or you like big pops, I don't think this is even 6 inch anymore, it's packaging... Is it just a big, regular pop? <laughs> I don't know, it's just... The packaging's big. This is big. It's a big, big yeah, Stardust this is really big. Dragon. Um, not as big as this dragon though, my no. goodness. This dragon takes the cake. Uh, it's not even a dragon type Pokemon, for whatever reason, no, it's fire and flying. Um, uh, this is Charizard. You know, fire and flying by definition is dragon. Not necessarily, because yeah. there was a dragon type in that. I I actually spent the whole of last weekend playing the new Pokemon game. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you were a terrible person. <laughs> um, this is Charizard in ten inch form. It's as big as it gets. Uh, he's epic. We're getting him one away uh, this week. But oh, are you getting him out of the box? We're gonna get him out of the box so everyone can see Charizard. How many, how many turtles is this gonna set you back? Oh god. Eighty turtles. Eighty turtles. Eighty turtles. Um, Josh, we want to entertain the people whilst they're struggling. Yeah. So I've been playing the Pokemon game all weekend. Uh, oh, what's the game called? Pokemon Arena of Time. Amazing. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon in it? Uh, Charizard. He's not in it. Oh, as far as you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you never heard of an Easter egg or a hidden secret? <laughs> You got me there. Yeah, anyway, sure. this this uh this sculpt is legit. Um, it is huge. Uh, he's got uh, a little translucent uh, flame on his tail there. Um, really nice uh, head sculpt. Nice shaped head. Little wings that curve around pretty nicely. Um, little right angle. I like that on a toy. Um, uh, yeah, he looks legit. Uh, Eighty dollars. We're giving away one of these Charizard ten inch pops today. Um, one lucky winner is going to win this. Uh, very soon. And there's, a question, getting... there's a question about Charizard. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Man, that's good out of the box. Compare it to something. Yeah, compare it to something heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but we also heavier. we don't know how much that weighs. <laughs> how heavy is it if you could guess? It's about this. <laughs> about a kilo. kilo. That's one yeah, that's one, one kilo. Yeah. <laughs> we packed it. Right. About a kilo. Adequate weighing. <clears throat> uh 
All Chari looks pretty good. It does look good. That looks really good out of the box. It does look really good. I think I'm going to leave it out of the box for the rest, rest yeah. of the episode. Uh, a couple more pops to talk through before we get to giving away uh, this awesome Charizard. We do. Uh, we do have Squirtle, uh, the 25th anniversary, uh, a, a silver edition. That's silver, it's the, it's the, it's the celebratory yep. gift. Um, it is. Of the 25th anniversary, and uh, they've been doing all of the, uh, the starter Pokemon from um, uh, red, blue, green, yellow. Um, uh, to celebrate 25 years in Mrs. Yep. Squirtle. Um, in, uh, Silver, there's also been a, a Charmander, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, a whole bunch of Pokemon. Um, from Star really Wars, <laughs> we've got the Mandalorian, blue. It's holographic Mandalorian. I believe it's... Blue in the dark? I actually think it's the blue Mandalorian. Um, we have Cobb Vance and Boba Fett down there. Can I say um, Cobb? Cobb Vance is the greatest thing to happen to Star Wars. Uh, in all, all time, all time. time. He's uh, what's Cobb Vance? What does Cobb, he do? He is a, a marshal, played by an actor called Timothy Olyphant, who plays nothing but uh, U.S. marshals, <laughs> and uh, now he's playing <laughs> one in space, uh, and that's pretty good. <laughs> lesser, lesser liked characters like Boba Fett and The Mandalorian are also featuring this show, um, but <laughs> Cobb Vance, greatest, like greatest thing next to Paul Dano as far as things. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna put that out there. Every plus line. Line. Every line he delivers. It's gold. just, it's so smooth. Yeah. Liquid. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, anyway, that's Cobb Vanth in, uh, in his armor. Uh, I'm saying his armor because he wore it better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, man, what a great character. Man, what a great character. What a great description of the character. Thanks, Josh. You be quiet. All right. Oh. <laughs> Enchanto, we have Antonio Madrigal. Yeah, I haven't seen it. My girlfriend said it's good. I don't agree with her because I don't like songs and movies. Wow. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd like to say that I've seen it and I think it's quite good. But yeah. I was gonna say, I like the snake. I like the fact that the boy is so comfortable, so comfortable with animals that he's got a snake. It's not me to show. Well, he can talk to them. And the snake has a bird on it as well, so you know it's not an aggressive snake, which is always quite nice to see. What if I told you the snake sings in the movie? You like it that would get now? that would get me more closer. Like I like the Jungle Book and I like Lion King. Yeah, I have, singing, no, I have no idea. I haven't seen it. But... Singing animals, I'm okay with. Sorry, they, don't, they just... don't sing in it. I'm sorry. Who oh, the Lion King? No, the animals in Encanto. Luke just said they're dead. Oh. I also followed up by saying I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you saw the Eternals though, and you hated it. Um, this is it's Cersei. So long. This so is Cersei long. in cash attire. She just. Walking around in London. Yeah, but guess with what? A, with a hat on. Seeing, seeing all these movies at the movies with my girlfriend scored me enough points. Oh so, God. Go on to see, here we go. Going to see <laughs> Jackass this weekend. Oh, oh, Jackass forever. Jackass forever. I might be seeing it also yeah. this weekend. I really wanted to see it in Titan Lux, but apparently they're not doing it in Titan Lux, which I think is a missed opportunity. Yeah, no one wants to see Johnny Knox on that high definition. <laughs> I do. It's more, about, it's, more about, it's more about the sound effects. Oh, I mean, right, right, right. Yeah. What oh, yeah. sound effects? Like, do they crunching? Do a crank and go boing boing boing? No, it's like the, the yeah, crunching, slapping, um, screaming. And Man gets hit and groin with football. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of the b bone crunching, ball tearing terror. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm so excited about it. So um. excited for it. But. My girlfriend's coming with me. Don't have to go at it alone. Anyway, um, something else is getting hit. One I thought time. you meant like, oh, my girlfriend's coming oh. with me, drat. No, dude, she. Oh, boo! <laughs> Rats. But yeah. Gosh darn it! <laughs> Continue with your pops, jackass. Uh, um, Britney Spears, yeah. Diamond uh, collection. It's Britney Spears wearing a red outfit that is covered in sparkles, indicating it is part of the Diamond collection. Um, <laughs> Incredible description. <laughs> from that new Matrix movie that no one really watched, it's Neo, um, played by Keanu Reeves. Um, he's got some glasses on. Keanu, he pretty much plays the same person. Keanu Reeves now playing Keanu Reeves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Wick was a good movie though. Um, from My Hero Academia, there's. Airy. Um, He's no Nicolas Cage, so I'm just going to put it out there. Adil really likes Nicolas Cage. Um, Paul Dano, Nicolas Cage, the other thing I said. Yeah, you do like Paul Dano, don't you? Oh, did you see the new Batman movie? It's like three hours long. Yes, yeah, it's on my screen time, potentially, yeah. that Paul Dano's going to be on screen. Oh. Have, you seen, have you seen Prisoners? Prisoners? Yeah, he's in that. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. That was a good twist 
good twists in the movie. Oh. It was good and watched it over two nights as well. Oh um, my god. <laughs> from the office, Phyllis Vance as the twist was you just forgot Santa. what before. <laughs> Phyllis Vance as Santa. Um, and from The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon with a dog. Oh, Josh, this you is, dogs. I do. I, I really like this. I always like it when there's like just a guy going about his business and he's got a dog. Really like dogs. Um, we have some Funko Shop exclusives or Funko, Funko Web exclusives. Lil Wayne um, with his microphone and face tattoos. Reverse Flash as well, um, which are both available in mystery boxes if you didn't want to buy them as the single skew iteration. If you're looking to kind of kickstart your collection. And at long last, we finally landed the Stitch and Rollers for convention exclusive from last year. It took a while to get here, but it's here. So yeah, here it is. It's to be shipping out. Stitch with Rollers. I thought it was roller blades when I originally read no, that. No, but... in the hair. Um, let's give away some prizes. Let's give away some prizes. We've got three to give away. Uh, we'll Good. start with the big end. Let's give away Charizard. Just jump out of the way. It's too big. It's taking up too much space. Um, here he is. There we go. We're going to do a big spin for Chari. <laughs> Maybe not that big, that's fun. No, 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 no. It's a good, good it fills the anticipation. It's, it's, it's I'm anticipated. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm going to read too early this week. Uh, T's King. Congrats. That's that's definite stop. Um, Text, send us a message. Send us your email address and your shipping address. And we will get this on the way to you probably on Monday. Yeah. Um, next up, I'm going to spin worry. for the uh, for the backpack, the Pink Man. This one? Yep. That was the one. That's the one. That's the one. It glows in the dark. It's got movable hands. It really glows in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, we just did it with the. I get good. Yeah. Really good. I'm just impressed. You put it behind. Oh, good. Congratulations. Lynch on! Also, send us a message. Send us your postal information, send us your email address, and we'll get this on the way to you as soon as we can. Uh, now we can do away the Pop and Tea set, Captain America Patriotic Age, and his unisex t shirts. It's gonna suit everyone. Whoever wins, just shoot us uh, whatever <laughs> size t shirt you want, and uh, we'll make it happen for you. Josh, that's Luke's job. That was such a weak spin. <laughs> what was that? Good day. First, you try and destroy the wheel. <laughs> and then Guys, you I. Was I'm sorry, we got everyone so upset with Sandy being on last week, and now we bring this thing back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's the lucky winner? Who's it gonna be? Uh, Amy Marks, congrats. Oh, uh, on hey, the uh, Captain America Pop and T set. Same again. Email. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping address, but this time we will send in your size. Yeah, we'll make it happen. We'll make sure it fits. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been a weekend review here, Pop Culture. Uh, we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. I'm Andy, this is uh, Josh, uh, Luke, Bianca, and of course Blake behind the camera. We'll catch you next week for some more exciting things to show you. Uh, oh boy. Oh yes we will. Next week we'll be talking about Blake's Pokemon cards. So... <laughs> <laughs> and that's a promise. Oh, God.